to you, Chief Exec. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Um, I've received an electronic petition containing 339 signatures requesting the Council to speed up its response to the climate change emergency. Jeff Cox wishes to address the Council. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Geoffrey Cox. I'm the chair of the South Yorkshire Climate Alliance. Our petition draws attention to this month being the fourth anniversary of Sheffield City Council declaring a climate emergency. This should have been an occasion for great celebration of all the progress that we've made. Four years of concerted effort on carbon reductions, four years of concerted effort on nature recovery, four years of concerted effort in engaging with the city's residents on what more needs to be done. But sadly, it has been four years where precious little concrete action has been taken. A clear agenda was set out in the Arup report in early 2021, but wasn't acted on directly. A slim 10-point plan was unveiled 15 months ago, but has still not resulted in a single route map being produced. And no report has yet been produced on the meeting with the city's voluntary and community groups that was held at St Mary's a full three months ago. So plenty of words and plenty of promises, but no urgency whatsoever in delivery. And urgency is what this petition calls for. We have seen how the city responded to an emergency in the case of the COVID pandemic. And that's the scale and pace of response needed now to achieve the city's 2030 target. And sadly, we don't see that urgency at all. I need to say two more things. We fully recognise that the national government has failed to produce the policies, the infrastructure and the funding needed to allow Sheffield and other councils to properly play their part in the, in the response to the, national climate, the international climate emergency. And I want to assure people in this room that the Climate Alliance will be going down to London with other climate groups in April for the national demonstrations, making exactly that point that they need to give you the tools with which to act. But I also have to say that other councils facing the same financial difficulties of Sheffield have done more. On several occasions, the Climate Alliance has drawn attention to the, the studies done by Friends of the Earth and the Ashton Research Group, um, case studies on what other local authorities have done, good practice. And again, I feel obliged to recommend that report to Sheffield City Council to borrow, steal, replicate those good examples from elsewhere. Um, the petition ends by calling on this City Council to accelerate its response to the climate emergency and for that acceleration to be in, be in the form of concrete actions, not just words. Thank you. I don't think we'll be stealing a copy, but I'll make sure that we do get a copy, legitimately. And can I ask Councillor Mazla Iqbal to re respond to you? Thank you, Lord Mayor. And uh, it's good to see you again, uh, Jeff. I absolutely agree that we must work together as a city to have any chance of achieving the scale and the pace of change that is required to meet the size of the challenge. Our CDP report submission and the score of A- for 2022 demonstrates the wide range of mitigation and adaptation actions that the Council has taken in response to the climate emergency declaration. However, I acknowledge the frustration that many people feel about the slow rate of progress. As you recognise, we are working to produce decarbonisation route maps covering five themed areas this year, and the first meeting uh, took place just two weeks ago. Again, cross-party. The five themed areas this year include our council, the way we travel, energy, business and industry, and housing. And as I've said, we've established a cross-party task group to help progress these. The fact remains, however, 
that without game-changing investment and financial support from central government, the private sector and other funding sources, as you recognise, the Council's budget is inadequate, inadequate to meet the resource for the action that's required. The city-wide uh, city event held in November of last year demonstrated the extensive support for taking climate action amongst huge range of city partners from the public, private and voluntary sectors and we want to harness that enthusiasm and expertise. We hope all these potential partners will be involved in the development and delivery of the route maps over the coming years. Many thanks for reaffirming the support of South Yorkshire Climate Alliance in helping to make these changes happen. We look forward to continue to work with you and the most important, address some of these urgent priorities. Once again, thank you, Mr. Cox, for coming in. Thank you.